Hi, my name is Mrs. Heckenbach, and welcome to Lesson 1-1, Part 1, Place Value. The learning goal is use standard, expanded, and word form to write numbers. In your math journal, you will need to write down the learning goals for Lesson 1, Part 1. The learning goals are understand the difference between value and place value. Identify the place value position of a given digit of a number and the value of a digit of a number. And place commas in the correct place in large numbers. In every lesson that we do, you will need to write down the lesson title and the learning goals in your math journal. Writing down the learning goals is important so you know the things that you're responsible for throughout the lesson. And that way, when you finish the lesson, you can recheck the learning goals to make sure that you've mastered them. And if you haven't, then you know that you need to go back through the lesson and watch the video again or maybe do some more practice problems. Please pause the video now and write down the lesson title and learning goals. When you've finished, resume the lesson by pressing play. In your math journal for each lesson, you will also need to write down the vocabulary terms or words. Today's vocabulary begins with the term digit. Digit is a number from 0 to 9. This includes the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Probably in the past you've just called these numbers, but in fifth grade we're going to start referring to them as digits. Our next vocabulary word is value. Value is how much a digit is worth based on its place or position in a number. Place value, the name of the place where a digit is located in a number. Please press pause and write down these vocabulary words and their definitions in your journal. When you've finished, press play. So what is the difference between value and place value? Well, the place value of a number is a little like the address of the number. It's the name of the place where the number is located on the place value chart. And it's usually represented in words. Please look at the place value chart at the bottom of the slide. You'll see that we have the number 6,392,000. 580,101. Above each digit, you'll see the place value position of the digit. They're listed as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and billions. The value of a number. Remember, the value of a number is how much it's worth. The value is usually represented by numbers. So if we look at the example 7,534, you'll notice that the seven is underlined. The seven is in the thousands place and has a value of 7,000. So let's talk about how we determine place value. Let's use the number 4,982 to practice. You'll see that the nine is underlined what would be the place value of the 9? Well, we need to determine what its place value is, and we can do that by knowing that the 2 is in the 1's place, the 8 is in the 10's place, so the 9 would be in the 100's place. The place value of 9 is in the 100's place. That is the place value position of where the number is located. I'm sure all of you have worked with place value charts in the past, so it's just important that in fifth grade, we know what each of the place value um, positions is labeled. So we need to know where the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on are located on the place value chart. If we look at the nine in the number 4,982, the value of the nine is 900. And there are two different ways that we can use to figure this out. One is by locating the place value position. The 9 is in the hundreds place, so the 9 represents 900 because 9 times 100 is 900. Another strategy that you may like to use is to see where the 9 is in that number, 4,982. 
You write down the number 9 and replace each digit after the 9 with zeros. This may sound a little confusing, but it's really quite easy. There are two digits that follow the 9 in 4,982. You'll see them in orange. So write the number 9 and replace the 8 and the 2 with zeros to get 900. So those are two strategies that you can use to determine the value of a digit in a number. Okay, hey, let's talk about place value a little more. When we're working with whole numbers, we begin naming the place value positions from the right end of the number and move to the left. So here is our place value chart again. You'll notice that whenever I worked through to determine place value position, I always started at the ones column, which is the right end of the number and move to the left. You'll see that the one in this large number is in the ones column, the zero is in the tens, then we have hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and billions. You'll also notice that above those place value position labels, you'll see something that's labeled periods. You'll see ones period, thousands period, millions period, and billions period. This is important because whenever we want to place commas in large whole numbers, we need to know that there are three digits between the commas. These three digits together are called a period. And the names of those periods that you'll be using are ones, thousands, millions, and billions. Let's look at the example. We have the number 567,243,298,961. Did you hear that each comma had a name when I said that number? Well, each comma does have a name, and that helps us to say large hold numbers correctly. Those names are thousand, million, and billion. And you'll need to be sure that you know those. You'll get a chance to practice in just a moment. So in each lesson, we will always have practice problems. These problems need to be written in your math journal. You'll need to number the problems correctly and write your answer in the journal. It's not necessary to write down the entire question. We just want you to use this time to practice. So in your journal, write down number one. And then you're going to need to insert the commas where they belong in this series of digits to the side. Pause the video now, write your answer in your math journal, and then press play when you're ready to check your answer with me. Okay, so let's look at our first problem. I'm going to write down the number and say it at the same time, putting the commas in the correct position. Check your work to see if it matches mine. We have 493,756,213,009. Did you see how knowing the periods of this, so I understood what the names of my commas were, helped me say that number correctly? Okay, let's look at question number two. Which digit is in the thousands place in the number 123,467? Please pause the video and answer question two in your journal. When you've answered the question, press play and check your work with me. Which digit is in the thousands place? Well, we need to determine the thousands place. The seven is in the ones place. The six is in the tens place. The four is in the hundreds place, and the three is in the thousands place. So the correct answer that you should have written in your journal is three. Congratulations if you wrote three. Now let's look at question number three. What is the place value position of the six in the number 123,467? Please write that answer in your journal and then check your work with me. The place value position of the six, well, we have to know our place value positions. We know the seven is in the ones 
place value position. So the six is in the tens. All right, let's look at question number four. What is the value of the five? If you don't remember what the value is, you might want to check back in your work, in your journal, to check that vocabulary term. The value of the five in the number 7,890,534. Please write your answer in your journal and then press play when you're ready to check your work with me. Okay, the value of the five. Well, there's a couple different strategies we learned for determining this. We can determine the place value position of the five. The four is in the ones column, the three is in the tens column, and the five is in the hundreds column. So if we know the five is in the hundreds column, then we know that the five is worth five hundreds. So 500 would be the answer. Remember, we could also find the place value, or the digits, um, the digit five in the number, and then replace all of the digits after the five with zeros. And then we would know that the value is 500. Congratulations if you got that one right. Here's another one. Same type of question. What is the value of the nine in 7,890,534? Please write your answer in your journal and then press play when you're ready to check your work with me. Okay, the value of the nine. Well, let's find place value position to determine this first. So four is in the ones column, three is in the tens column, five is in the hundreds column, zero is in the thousands column, and nine would be in the ten thousands column. So we could multiply nine times 10,000, and that gives us 90,000. We could check that by using our other strategy of finding the nine in, in our larger whole number and then putting zeros to replace all of these digits after the nine. So 90,000 is the value of the nine in this number. Nice work. As we finish our lesson, we always go back and re review our learning goals in our journal. This is important so we can know if we actually mastered all the learning goals of the lesson. If you had trouble with some of them or you're unsure, you need to go back and review the video and possibly do the practice problems again. In your journal, you will also need to write down any questions that you might have about the lesson. We will have time to talk about these tomorrow. And now it's finally time to celebrate. Have you com that you've completed lesson one, part one of our math flip lesson. Congratulations, thank you for working hard, and we'll see you tomorrow at school.